What is going on YouTubers AppDrawer7 here from AndroidTechBlackspot.com today on how to unroot and factory reset your Galaxy S3 for AT&T. So by following this video you will be able to completely reset your Galaxy S3 for AT&T aka i7 for 7 and you can then do return your phone warranty exchange sell it do whatever you want you won't be rooted and you won't have any personal data left but there is two method involved if you just want to unroot it you won't lose any personal data means logging and stuff and the second part is factory reset where you will lose apps and stuff keep in mind you won't be losing any pictures or files like that from your internal or external SD card so none of those cards gonna get wiped out okay so let's go ahead and get to the process first of all when you need to download what's in description so click on that link and once you download it you will have these two files right here in the folder one is Odin and another is stock ROM uh, once you un unzip the stock ROM you will see the folder right this open that up and you will see that two of the file all you need is the tap one and you can get most of the firmware from Samsung stack firmware.com or something like that I will have the link in description but right now let's go ahead and open Odin press yes or select yes and make sure you unselect that so make sure you only have auto reboot on and this is how your screen should look and let's go ahead and go to your phone turn off your S3 once it's turned off volume down power and home button keep folding those three for about like two seconds or so one two three see third second and you came to this screen just press volume up this is why I like to power off the phone and do it this way rather than doing while screen on screen on takes a little longer right here I'm just gonna tell you what what the flash counter is right there you where it's you see custom binary downloads no that's the flash counter so if you trigger that it will say yes and in brackets it will say the number number of times you trigger so now we will go ahead and plug in the micro USB cable that's connected to your computer once it's plugged in you will see that pop up right there yellow box make sure it's there if it's not there go ahead and install Samsung keys that's a USB driver don't do anything just install it and if it still doesn't come change your USB part then if it still doesn't come change your computer make sure you don't, you're not running heavy programs that needs that uses RAM like uh, Photoshop or something like that because Odin will need more accessibility to the RAM so it can run better so let's go ahead and go to the files sorry go ahead and press PDA here then go to your location where you have downloaded those files I have right here and select that now open that then here you can just press start and in message box you will see all those messages appear and this is uh, stack system IMG so it will take a while to flash so as you can see it started the process now boot cache and right there you can see what it's doing 
and as you can see the process only reached that much so this will take time guys I will be back once the process bar reaches somewhere right here so until then sit tight and relax do not unplug your phone or do anything alright I'll see you in a little bit what is up youtubers I'm back so that's my fast forward right there and it's still got about a minute or so to go and right now it's just about to be finished but I what I'm saying is is my might take long enough for your phone depending on your phone on your computer cause uh, people got different computers nowadays and it's different processor and dash kind of stuff this is all maxed up you know what I'm saying alright guys sorry but it's still on download mode and once it finishes it says past right there so green and it will say all threads completed succeeded one if you get failed make sure and go ahead and try again and try it on different computers close all the programs that's in background run it as a administrator and your phone will reboot right now it's it will be unrooted just to let you guys know it won't wipe your internal external SD card or it won't delete any of your apps that you downloaded from market so as you can see this is what you I'm gonna unplug it so that's that's not how it looks I just had a factory reset this you will to see your normal lock screen once it boots or your normal what do you call launcher then power off your phone to factory reset this is what how we're gonna do factory reset so if you just wanted to unroot your phone then you just stop there but if you want a factory reset and or if you are to sell your phone or do something like that then we are going to press volume up power and home button same time when first vibrate let go the power button and then let go the other three and you'll be right here and here you will see there apply factory data reset delete all so the volume down button is only working and just like clockwork my recovery power button is what you select with and now it's just wiping all your system all your user data no it's not wiping your pictures or anything like that and this is what Samsung's 3e stock recovery looks like so do it two times just to make sure and if you had rooted on different method then you might wanna try triangle triangle away app by chain fire I think and just press reboot now and it will get a might get rid of your of trigger it might reset your flash counter it has it's not supported yet but he will be making the application for AT&T or all the S3s it's just a matter of time he will update it for our phone so right now it's just rebooting how you all liked my videos if you did please please subscribe it helps a lot like videos share it check out my web blog right here so it's rebooting I just don't want you 
want you guys to be bored that's why I'm just gonna go over this stuff and check that's my blog and in URL the O replaces with zero as you can see right there and here we cover Galaxy S3 for AT&T, T-Mobile because and Sprint and Verizon because they're all same GSM Galaxy Nexus, Skyrocket, T-Mobile Galaxy S2, Galaxy Note and most of the basic stuff about Android so go ahead and check that out we have very organized blog about a lot of different tutorials and once your phone reboots you will have all the software resetted and it will be just like how it came out of box thank you for watching guys go ahead and subscribe up right there like my video right there share it globally and I will see you in the next video